Japan has become the world's fifth country to put a spacecraft on the moon. The space agency said its smart lander to investigate the moon, or SLIM, has made a soft landing on the lunar surface. The moon sniper mission spacecraft from Japan achieved a significant milestone by successfully landing on the moon's surface, elevating Japan to the fifth country to accomplish such a feat. This mission highlights cutting-edge technology that has the potential to redefine our perspective on space travel. Amid the celebrations, a peculiar new detail about the investigation emerged, which sparked confusion and debate. Let's delve into what Japan's moon sniper has unveiled about the moon that NASA was hiding from the public eye. By successfully landing its carefully designed probe, SLIM, on the moon's surface on January 19th, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, aka JAXA, achieved a significant milestone. This accomplishment placed Japan as the fifth country in history to achieve such a lunar landing. The project's journey commenced in 2005 with the launch of the Small Moon Landing Experiment Satellite Project SLIM, eventually becoming one of the seven main tasks of the International Space Station. In 2013, SLIM officially transitioned into a JAXA project, and by April 2016, Mitsubishi took on the responsibility of building the spaceship. The mission's primary objective was to test a new landing technology, aiming to demonstrate an exact and accurate pinpoint landing method that could potentially revolutionize future space exploration. It was crucial for SLIM to accompany the gray imaging and spectroscopy mission. Following SLIM's separation from CRISM, it adjusted its plans with the aim of reaching lunar orbit by December 25, 2023. Effortlessly entering orbit around the moon, SLIM executed one of the most flawless landings ever witnessed. Despite the success of Japan's moon sniper mission, certain aspects remain undisclosed, raising questions about hidden details and potential secrets kept by NASA. Let's delve into the specifics of this groundbreaking mission and explore potential concealed insights. Historically, lunar landings faced challenges in precision which prompted the development of the Smart Lander for investigating the moon. The innovative concept aimed to utilize cutting-edge technology for precise lunar landings. The success of this mission would determine whether the Space Exploration Group had discovered a revolutionary method for landing precisely on the moon or any other celestial body. Space agencies, including NASA, shifted their objectives from landing anywhere on the moon to achieving precise landings according to their plans. On January 19th, a significant leap forward occurred as the lander executed an incredibly precise soft landing at its intended location, marking a substantial advancement in our capacity to explore space. Despite the gentle landing, a power issue arose as the solar panel meant to charge the probe faced the wrong direction due to the landing position. This hindered SLIM from recharging its own power source. The JAXA ground team had to rely on backup batteries and promptly deployed two rovers to investigate the moon's surface. Concurrently, the multi-band spectroscopic camera on SLIM captured images providing valuable information about the moon's surface. After analyzing MBC data, JAXA concluded that the lander hadn't sustained significant damage during landing, easing concerns. JAXA opted to leave the probe on the moon, patiently waiting the sun's movement to optimally position the solar panels for charging. A lunar day lasting 14 Earth's days highlights the extended periods of light and darkness on the moon, presenting unique challenges and opportunities for exploration. Time unfolds differently on the moon compared to Earth. Initially, JAXA planned to utilize solar power to operate the probe for at least two weeks after an unexpected crash landing. However, they adjusted their strategy and patiently awaited the end of the lunar day. Upon the alignment of the sun's rays with the solar panels, JAXA successfully powered the probe. The Japanese mission's adaptable approach demonstrates the feasibility of precise landings on the moon and showcases the achievement of soft landings, a feat even esteemed agencies like NASA find challenging. During NASA's Apollo missions, precision in the landing wasn't a top priority. NASA's project not only showcases technological prowess, but also underscores the importance of resilience and flexibility in space exploration. Reflect on the challenges faced by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin during the Apollo 11 mission, particularly their struggles with the lunar capsule's landing, communication issues with the base, and repeated alarm signals indicating automatic landing system malfunctions forced Armstrong to manually control the module for a successful descent. Despite their efforts, they ended up in the wrong location. In contrast, SLIM's precise landing stands as a remarkable achievement. 
Recent attempts to land on the moon often resulted in failures or unintended crashes. Slim, however, skillfully controlled its descent, enabling the deployment of rovers. Consider it akin to a rocket losing one of its engines mid-flight, yet maintaining control. The worst-case scenario would involve a crash and fire, while the best outcome would be an emergency landing nearby for Slim. Despite losing a nozzle, Slim executed a flawless descent, hitting its target precisely. This accomplishment garnered significant attention for Japan among moon-exploring nations, highlighting the country's skill and determination in space exploration and setting a high standard for future lunar missions. Now in the 20th century, China stood as the sole country to successfully land on the moon, prompting questions about the challenges faced by current moon missions compared to NASA's achievements 50 years ago. Skeptics raised queries about this disparity, leading scientists to propose various theories. One sensible theory traces back to the space race era when the U.S. and Russian governments engaged in a fierce competition to showcase supremacy. During that time, NASA, with robust support from the U.S. government, invested heavily in moon exploration technologies. With the absence of a current space race, contemporary moon missions are primarily fueled by curiosity or the aspiration to be remembered for contributions to space research history. Consequently, to control expenses, new probes and vehicles often incorporate less costly materials. Additionally, private companies, rather than government entities, frequently undertake the construction of landers, impacting both the quality of construction and the materials used. This shift in physics reflects the evolving landscape of space exploration. Notably, all attempts by business companies to send people to the moon have proven unsuccessful, exemplified by the 2023 incident when Japan's space lander crashed on the lunar surface. The lunar environment poses challenges for landers and satellites as the moon disrupts radio signals, complicating communication and leading to probes landing off target. Moreover, lunar landings are more challenging due to the absence of an atmosphere. Unlike Earth, parachutes are ineffective in this environment, making the craft's engine the sole means of control. Pilots must navigate these challenges while contending with communication issues. The risk of a crash looms if the probe is excessively heavy. In 2013, China's Chang'e 3 mission achieved the first soft landing on the moon since Russia's Luna 24 in 1976. Previous attempts by countries like Russia had faced repeated failures, highlighting the need for a solution to landing problems. Fortunately, Japan introduced a novel idea that holds the potential to reshape lunar exploration, instilling hope for future successful landings and advancements in space travel. JAXA has a long-standing collaboration with NASA, indicating that their new guidance system could prove highly beneficial for upcoming NASA projects. This cutting-edge technology is expected to play a role in the Artemis program, aimed at returning humans to the moon. However, SLIM faced a significant setback during its lunar mission, perplexing JAXA researchers. Despite being meticulously designed for an upright landing, SLIM unexpectedly fell face down, leaving experts puzzled. Many speculate that external forces may have contributed to this incident, creating uncertainty for future NASA projects. Unraveling the mystery of SLIM's lunar mishap is crucial for ensuring the success of future moon missions. The circumstances surrounding SLIM's arrival remain a mystery, prompting intensive efforts from JAXA and NASA scientists to decipher the puzzle. Solving this mystery holds significance in ensuring the safety and success of future lunar explorations and unlocking the moon's full potential. Crafted with precision, the JAXA probe incorporates cutting-edge technologies to ensure a gentle landing even at high speeds. Notably, its legs feature crumple zones, akin to safety features in modern cars, designed to absorb impact energy and facilitate a soft landing. The mission's target was a Schroeder crater, identifiable by its 15-degree slope. To achieve the desired 25.24% leg goal, the craft executed a precise 45-degree flip just before landing, enhancing the impact smoothness. The probe utilized two Mitsubishi engines and 12 attitude control thrusters, a common setup for moon probes to optimize landing stability. Regardless of its weight, these jets played a crucial role in controlling descent speed and making adjustments during the landing process. The landing process was meticulously planned in two stages, 
initial tilting using two large thrusters and landing thrusters, followed by the activation of five crushable aluminum lattice landing legs to soften the final impact. Despite extensive planning and advanced engineering, the probe unexpectedly landed on its nose, a puzzling outcome noted by experts. The peculiar orientation of Slim's landing sparked speculation and conjecture, not only within the scientific community, but also beyond. Some pondered the possibility of external forces at play, questioning if uncontrollable factors influenced the probe's descent. Bolder speculations even entertained thoughts of extraterrestrial involvement, weaving tales of beings from other planets disrupting the mission. The mystery surrounding Slim's upside-down arrival introduced a new layer of complexity to the mission, leaving JAXA scientists and engineers perplexed as they sought to unravel the unprecedented occurrence. Despite the careful design and planning, the probe appeared to deviate from its intended landing site, prompting numerous inquiries into the lunar surface's mysteries. Speculations and theories, ranging from external forces to potential alien interference, added an intriguing dimension to the narrative, underscoring the importance of conducting a comprehensive investigation to uncover the truth behind Slim's peculiar orientation. While conspiracy theorists, intrigued by the notion of aliens residing on the moon, speculated about extraterrestrial involvement, these claims remain speculative due to the event's mystery and the scarcity of concrete facts. The JAXA science community confronted a truly unique problem, necessitating a meticulous analysis of both data and mission circumstances to unravel the mystery behind Slim's unexpected landing location. Resting on the moon's surface, with its solar panels facing west, as it awaited the return of the sun, the probe added more pieces to the slowly forming puzzle during Jax's quest for answers. This pursuit not only captivated experts, but also garnered the attention of space enthusiasts worldwide. To comprehend the unfolding events, Jax sought images from space, possibly from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter or another reliable source. Examining these images provides a clearer understanding of the unfolding events, as we delve into the mystery behind Slim's unexpected lunar landing, it's crucial to recognize that the success of this mission holds profound implications for the future of space exploration. Emphasizing the importance of unraveling this enigma, Slim's surprising landing position didn't hinder its ability to achieve some goals. It successfully deployed two experimental rovers known as lunar excursion vehicles, each with distinctive features. LEV-1, resembling a frog moved by hopping, while LEV-2, resembling a small ball, transformed into a wheeled camera that mimicked the motion of sea turtles wagging their tails on the beach. Despite the unexpected landing, Slim utilized all onboard science equipment effectively before its battery depletion. Notably, LEV-1 established communication with ground stations and even received a test radio wave data transmission from its counterpart. This achievement highlighted the rover's adaptability and utility providing valuable insights for planning future lunar explorations. While JAXA hasn't received pictures from LEV-1, LEV-2 captured an intriguing image of Slim on the moon's surface. The image revealed Slim's rockets facing upwards, contrary to their intended downward position. Both rovers are currently in standby mode, patiently awaiting sunlight to power up again. According to calculations, the moon day is expected to conclude around January 31st, signaling the resumption of work for LEV-1 and LEV-2. Notably, the slim spacecraft incurred a building cost of 18 billion yen, approximately $120 million. Starting at a weight of 200 kilos, it reached 700 kilos when fully fueled for thruster operation during landing. The challenges of aligning funding and technology are exemplified by LEV-1 and LEV-2, with LEV-2 undergoing a transformation into Sora-Q. This rover, now the smallest and lightest ever made at 0.25 kilos, is about the size of a baseball. Sora-Q, a collaborative effort between JAXA, Sony, Tohoku University, and Toshisha University, stands as a remarkable robot merging JAXA space technology with toy technology and sensor robotics. Designed to operate autonomously and adapt to the lunar environment, Sora-Q represents a significant technological achievement. Shinchiro Sakai, SLIM's project manager emphasized the groundbreaking nature of the mission, stating, We've proved that you can land wherever you want rather than where you can. This achievement holds great importance, with the hopes that it will inspire more Japanese flights to explore uncharted areas of the moon, 
marking a notable win for Japan's space agency. The advancements could potentially enable astronauts to explore the dark side of the moon, a mysterious and debated region associated with various conspiracy theories and stories about the existence of aliens, fueled by strange structures, shapes, and reports of mysterious crashes from past lunar missions. The story of NASA clandestinely sending astronauts to explore the far side, where they purportedly discovered the remains of an alien spaceship, remains a popular narrative. Reports suggest the astronauts found alien remnants to be studied, but NASA vehemently refutes these assertions, stating that Apollo 17 marked the conclusion of their lunar exploration efforts. Despite NASA's dismissal, the mystery surrounding the far side of the moon continues to captivate, fostering discussions about the potential mysteries it conceals. In the realm of harnessing solar power from space, the question arises, was Japan's lunar journey only aimed at advancing technology for planetary landings, or did it harbor additional objectives? There's a strong possibility that Japan was exploring space-based solar power. On January 11th, the U.S. Space Agency released a study examining the feasibility of using radio beams to transmit solar energy from space to Earth. This innovative concept aims to establish a clean energy source. Although exact costs remain uncertain, experts acknowledge its potential benefits. Successful implementation of space-based solar power could revolutionize energy production and assist countries in achieving net-zero greenhouse gas pollution. This technology holds significant potential for the U.S. and any nation adopting it. Japan's lunar journey could mark a substantial stride toward a sustainable energy future, showcasing the country's dedication to innovative ideas and environmental stewardship. Orbiting space, devoid of Earth's atmosphere, provides a unique opportunity to harness solar energy in its purest form. The concept of collecting such pristine energy and wirelessly transmitting it to distant locations is compelling. Space agencies like NASA and JAXA are diligently working on this technology, recognizing its potential to revolutionize global energy distribution. Slim solar technology has furnished valuable insights for future progress. However, skeptics express concerns about safety and the substantial costs associated with building and operating such systems. Predictions suggest that this technology could generate electricity at an estimated cost of 61 cents per kilowatt hour, considerably more expensive than land solar plants, which typically produce electricity for 2 to 5 cents per kilowatt hour. Despite skepticism for some, the notion of achieving optimal solar energy collection remains appealing. However, doubts persist regarding the practicality and value of such endeavors. Is it a lasting solution for energy challenges, or does it risk draining government funds? Exploring the prospects of space-based solar power underscores the importance of striking a balance between innovative ideas and feasibility. With the recent surge in interest in space travel and a renewed sense of a space race, many countries are striving to land on the moon. Fortunately, JAXA's groundbreaking landing with SLIM is poised to facilitate future space exploration worldwide. In a public statement, JAXA expressed its commitment to expanding SLIM's purpose beyond the original plan. They emphasized ongoing efforts to formulate recovery plans and gather additional technical and scientific information. High-resolution spectroscopic observations are on standby, contingent on increased sunlight and SLIM's recovery through solar power. The Space Exploration Group celebrates the significant achievement while anticipating SLIM's resuming operations in daylight. It stands as a remarkable accomplishment, marking a historic testament to humanity's evolving understanding of the universe's secrets. As people eagerly await the sun's return, the anticipation grows for the wealth of data SLIM is poised to uncover, showcasing the vast potential of space research. Now, shifting focus to today's user pick, experts in space travel continue to be astounded by Japan's Moon Sniper mission. The revelation of hidden details within the Moon's expansive surface by NASA adds to the intrigue. An inexplicable event occurred, shrouded in mystery, during JAXA's meticulous construction of the SLIM probe, embarking on a journey defined by precision and purpose. With the aim of gracefully landing on the moon's rugged surface, a significant advancement in space travel was the goal. However, fate took an unexpected turn. Despite meticulous planning and a complex design, SLIM found itself in a perplexing situation. The probe deviated from its original planned upright landing, ending up face down, defying all expectations and bewildering the JAXA team. 
As experts sought to unravel the mystery, speculation abounded. Was it influenced by an external force or a flaw in the carefully crafted design? The world eagerly awaited answers to this puzzle, recognizing its profound implications not only for JAXA, but also for the future of space exploration. The significance of this unusual event became clearer. What began as Slim's journey, showcasing human creativity, transformed into a mysterious enigma that captivated both explorers and dreamers, prompting them to uncover the truth hidden in the lunar landscape. A central question arose. How did Slim recover after its unexpected fall and power loss? The lander faced a stroke of luck with its backup plan, a solar panel capable of generating power in sunlight. Unfortunately, upon landing, it faced the wrong direction, hindering the solar screen from receiving sufficient sunlight. Recognizing the challenge, JAXA opted to temporarily shut down the lander until the sun's angle changed. With the gradual ascent of the sun on the moon's western side, the solar screen resumed operation, generating electricity and autonomously restarting the lander. JAXA swiftly announced the re-establishment of communication with SLIM through the X social media platform, resuming operations. The lander utilized its multi-brand camera to capture and transmit new images of the moon's surface. In a lighthearted jest, JAXA humorously referred to a rock near the lander as a toy poodle, accompanied by a striking close-up picture. JAXA scientists playfully named rocks with amusing monikers, like Shop Inu Inu, Pomeranian, and Shih Tzu. In a mosaic-like image capturing the lunar landscape near the Shy Crater, these pictures not only showcase the intricate and diverse lunar terrain, but also provide insights into the lander's location and condition. Remarkably, Slim's precise landing positioned to just 50.5 meters from its intended destination, marking the most accurate lunar landing to date. This achievement holds significant importance as it grants scientists a unique opportunity to scrutinize the moon's surface, offering insights into its formation and evolutionary changes over time. Now that the moon's explorer is operational again, anticipation surrounds its upcoming activities. JAXA provides updates on the current state of the lander and its probes, shedding light on the mission's duration and objectives. According to JAXA, the lander possesses a limited amount of fuel, making a secondary landing maneuver unfeasible. Consequently, suggestions to relocate the lander appear unlikely. The spacecraft will remain in its current position, utilizing its multi-band camera and advanced equipment to meticulously study and observe the lunar surface. Equipped with sophisticated tools like a thermometer, laser rangefinder, and laser voltmeter, the lander can measure various aspects of the moon's surface, including distance, shape, and temperature. Through these instruments, the Moon Sniper Explorer continues to unravel the mysteries of the moon, paving the way for further discoveries in the realm of lunar research. The upcoming project is anticipated to span approximately six months, concluding in July 2024, coinciding with the onset of the lunar night when the lander faces potential power loss. Notably, once separated from the lander, the two robots persist in their tasks. Positioned around 100 meters from the lander, the transmitter probe relays signals back to Earth. Meanwhile, the mini-rover probe ventures approximately 50 meters from the lander, navigating the lunar surface and capturing images with a versatile camera that can transform from a sphere to a disk. The small rover is slated to remain stationary for three months, concluding in April 2024, coinciding with the depletion of its battery. The Moon Snapper Explorer and its accompanying probes aim to extensively study the Moon's area near the Sholi Crater, where the lunar crust is visible. This data collection intends to unveil the mysterious origins and movements of the Moon, drawing comparisons to Earth's trajectory. The findings may also contribute to identifying crucial resources, including water and other elements essential for human survival, be it potable water or potential fuel reserves. This venture paves the way for a promising future in lunar research. Jack has significant strides, earning trust from esteemed partners like NASA and the European Space Agency, have elevated its global recognition. Its noteworthy contribution to the International Space Station stands out as one of the most impressive achievements. Furthermore, Japan is committed to assisting in constructing multiple modules for the Gateway Luna Station, solidifying its position as a reliable partner in the realm of space exploration. JAXA is diligently formulating plans for its significant projects while managing various responsibilities. 
the planned slim landing mission exemplifies the exciting ventures on the horizon. Notably, JAXA is gearing up for an upcoming journey to Mars, scheduled for launch in 2024. The Martian Moon Exploration Spaceship will embark on a mission to study Mars's moons, Deos and Phobos, collecting samples and data to enhance our understanding of Mars and other planets in the solar system. For this mission, JAXA will employ its powerful H-3 launch vehicle, renowned for its remarkable capabilities. The H-3, a cutting-edge two-stage rocket fueled by liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen, boasts high efficiency. The first stage features three robust engines, while the second stage has a single engine, ensuring optimal performance during ascent. Although the first stage of the H-3 rocket in March 2023 showed promise, it encountered a setback when the second stage failed to ignite as planned, marking the test launch as a failure. Undeterred, JAXA is resiliently planning a second flight, likely to occur in February 2024, with the determination to achieve success. Thanks for watching our video. We would love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments section below.